now when it comes to methodology common questions would be why did you employ this method why okay why not others uh, when you review papers there are many different approaches and different research methods so why did you accept one and didn't accept one so you have to have justification by right you should have justification in your draft itself okay so now if you do not have that make sure you get ready to answer that question all right but to me i would always advise the student make sure you have justification on the method that you have selected okay in the draft itself so that will make your life easy during the viva versus session you can always refer you can tell examiners uh, prof can you please refer to page number this where i have actually justified why i choose this method okay all right so uh, next question is the similar one right and then how did you use the particular technique of research uh, what did you make out of it so now is very specific so you are saying that i have used this technique and because why i have got this kind of outcome you know so now you are justifying again the kind of methodology that you have used uh, i have to um, uh, do my presentation a bit faster so that we can take on some questions all right so i will move a bit a bit fast from now okay methodology still you have some questions uh, what is the unit of analysis very common question so you need a analysis is that you need that you analyze in your research it is the unit where the data comes from if the data coming from employees then your unit of analysis is employees if your data is coming from customer then your unit of analysis is customer individual if your data coming from organization unit of analysis is organization so be very careful on that okay how did you establish the boundary around the scope of your data collection uh, now moving into very important area you know Uh, say for example uh, you are doing a study on the manufacturing industry in malaysia so most of the manufacturing industry in malaysia are situated in penang in uh, selangor uh, in uh, uh, you know in in kida as well as job uh, jb right uh, johor bahru or uh, uh, johor right uh, uh, but again if you take this three state there are so many companies so how did you decide to uh, go to specific uh, industry and uh, the farms available there so you have to have justification how did you do that okay you have to have justification of that. i know i remember there was one student one of my friend a uh, fail in his first attempt in the viva uh, he did a study on online shopping about uh, 15 years before uh, 10 years before and his sample was only mba student so the external uh, uh, examiner did not agree with the sampling he said how can you assume that online shoppers are only mba student so your sampling frame is wrong so he was asked to redo <laughs> collecting of data and doing all that okay so he suffered another one year collecting new data and all that so you got to be very careful all right so boundary of data collection very important justification must be there with you uh what alternatives uh, did your approach offer so when you choose a particular method uh, there must be some other method also available and you should be uh, knowing all of them and you should tell the examiners these are the other methods available okay